the step, they started up the steps. And then we just walked on up all the steps. And about right here, after we, get, after we had gotten to the top of the steps, right here, and going up to the school, and somebody put their fingers right on the back of my neck. And all they said was, I just want to see what a nigga feels like. Hello everybody and welcome back to Around the Association. The Jerry Jones photo, that has been a topic of discussion for days now as it relates to the handling of it and how the media has kind of shifted around this. Now, one of the more prominent sports anchors, Stephen A. Smith, said he feels bad for Jerry Jones and it's not right. Take a listen here. I'm very, very fond of Jerry Jones and I'm not hiding that from anybody. Pissed off because he doesn't deserve what just happened. So that's Stephen A uh, viewpoint. He feels like poor Jerry's being picked on and being attempted to be canceled due to cancel culture. Now, Jason Williams, who's also with ESPN, he said, hey, it would be nice if Jerry Jones actually used his platform and denounced racism just as the Jewish community and the media wanted Kyrie Irving to do, denounce racism. I need Jerry Jones to denounce racism. I want to hear Jerry Jones denounce racism because I have not heard him do it thus far. I have a lot to say on this. And wouldn't you believe, even at the time of uh, me recording this video, Jerry Jones has not come out and denounced racism. He did speak with reporters uh, for a while in regard to the incident. This is what he had to say. Yeah, that was, uh, uh, gosh, uh, 60, 65 years ago, and uh, a curious kid. I didn't know at the time the uh, monumental uh, 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 event, really, that was that was going on, and uh, uh, I'm sure glad that uh, uh, we're a long way from that. I am, and um, uh, we just uh, well, that would remind me just uh, uh, continue to do everything we can uh, to. Uh, uh, not have those kinds of things happen. Any regrets of just being in the photo, being there at all? What? Any regrets on being in the photo, being there at all? Well, I didn't. No. I wouldn't uh, have just dug that up for right. sure. Right. I mean, seriously. But uh, uh, that was curiously. Uh, uh, I got criticized because I was more interested in how I was going to be punished by my coaches and everybody for uh, being out front. But nobody there had any idea, frankly what was uh, going to take place. Jerry, 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 you're not telling the truth, brother, because according to the Associated Press article, your football coach at the time, Jim Albright, had warned there might be trouble and said he didn't want to see any of you nodheads, meaning his football players, near the front of that school tomorrow. Now, if that wasn't enough, the governor at the time, Orville Fabus, had announced that he would call in the Arkansas National Guard to prevent the African-American students' entry to the Central High, claiming it was what was best to protect the students. And in a televised address, it goes on to say that the governor insisted that violence and bloodshed might break out if the black students were allowed to enter the school. So Jerry, there's no way in the world you didn't, you was just curious and you didn't know what was gonna go on. I think you were there to either be a part of or to witness the violence and bloodshed. 
uh, you didn't, uh, we, we didn't have all the last 70 years of reference and all the things that were going. And so uh, you, you didn't have a reference point there. Uh, still, uh, uh, I've got a habit of sticking this nose in the right place at the wrong time. Did you get Did you get in trouble with your coach for being there? I sure did. What, 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 what was the punishment? Well, it, uh, it, you know, I was uh, a young sophomore trying to make the team, and uh, uh, they kicked my ass. Jerry, Jerry, it came out to the Little Rock situation uh, at, at Little Rock Central, though, right? Uh, that photo and that incident. Excuse me? That incident came out to the situation at Little Rock Central. Uh, well, that was North Little Rock, right. which was literally just two or three miles away. It Was it the same day as Little Rock Central that it came a, a as different I day? Recall, as I recall, it uh, was certainly in proximity with it. Uh, those were certainly uh, uh, the issues that uh, were going on, but uh, did not have the uh, uh, structure or the uh, the, it was not the event that the central thing was. Well, I mean, still not denounce racism. Seems like he's, uh, I don't know, he's talking around it. He's, he's not really addressing, um, you know, how filthy of an event that was. It just sounds like, hey, that's what we were doing at the time, and it is what it is. And I wouldn't be surprised if Jerry Jones, he's done speaking about it because he's since uh, allowed his quarterback, and I say allowed because nobody gets to speak out in that Dallas Cowboys program unless Jerry Jones first okays it. So the reporter did get in contact with uh, Dak Prescott, and here's what Dak Prescott had to say in regards to the Jerry Jones photo, as well as uh, LeBron James uh, saying, you know, hey, no one's asking us athletes in regards to, you know, Jerry Jones photo at that, you know, white mob not letting black students in like they did when Kyrie simply shared a tweet on his, uh, shared a link on his Twitter. Take a listen here at Dak Prescott. Guy that is completely biracial, black and white. Um, it's it's easy for me to speak on race on, on one side or another, um, and I don't always. Um, how do I say this? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know if I'm, I'm I've fully processed it all the way, honestly. Um, I think uh, whether LeBron's talking about the picture, I mean, I think that's that's on Jerry to, to address, right? I mean, in the same sense, it's 65 years ago. Um, and how times have changed. I mean, look the man's resume since then, right? And as I said, I give grace. And um, I think that's a conversation and a question, not only for him, but uh, for you guys and, and how y'all feel, how accountable y'all have been in, in covering and discussing um, the disparities and differences in race. It wasn't that long ago that, that we were all sitting on different sides and that we weren't together. But as I said, I wouldn't be here if it was still that way. So I believe in grace and change. And th those are questions for Jerry and, and for y'all, honestly, that I don't have quite the answers for. Well, in true Dak Prescott form, really nothing gained from that interview. Um, it was so long ago, who cares, is what I took from that interview. And we just used to sit on opposite sides. That's all it was. You know, we sat on opposite sides. I mean, if it was just that, then <laughs> just making more light of it kind of in within the same elk as Jerry Jones during his interview. Well, up until now, nobody has talked to any of those young students uh, that were in it to see their recollection, what, what they actually um, experienced trying to be the first to desegregate uh, North Little Rock High School. Uh, the name of the student, Richard Lindsay, was able to uncover a interview where he was actually speaking very candidly and kind of walking you back through that day where Jerry Jones and his schoolmates actually stopped them from integrating North Little Rock High School. Take a listen here. Coming from this street, as if they were standing there waiting, and they were coming from that way. So now there are people all around. As we started up the steps right here, then the crowd did the same thing. They just 
all surrounded us, this big sea of people. I've said a couple of times that it looked like 10,000 people out there. And we started up the steps. And as we got started up the steps, they started up the steps. And then we just walked on up all the steps. And about right here, after we, after we had gotten to the top of the steps, and somebody put their fingers right on the back of my neck. And all they said was, I just want to see what a nigga feels like. I've never known who it was. I've been asked whether it was a boy or a girl. I couldn't tell you. Got here, we were stopped because the doors flew open and two men came out. And they walked right up here. The ministers walked all the way up on this, the flat part here and they started talking to them. And I imagine, I don't know what they said because down here, the people are still behind us the noise is still intense. And they, they talked for about two or three minutes. And it seemed to come to some kind of understanding because the ministers came back to us, turned us around, and we started back down the steps. This school, these steps, this whole thing. It had a, had a fear for me that I could not phantom. In fact, I live in this city and I have ever since the 1965, but I never came back up here again. Very, very sad story. Um, sad all the way around, man. I mean, I just can't understand why someone like Stephen A. Smith is actually feeling sorry for the billionaire that was a part of a white mob that stopped the school from being integrated at the time versus not once that I hear him mention, hey, those students that were trying to integrate, they were trying to do something that would make an opportunity for not just them, but for us um, as African-Americans, black people. Um, I just, I just can't find it in my heart to feel like, oh, Jerry Jones' photo coming out and making him a little uncomfortable uh, five, six decades later, and we're supposed to feel sorry for him. Whew. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'm out.